Hey, it is Saturday morning, June the 16th, I think. Yeah, I think. I just got back from the farmer's market. Um, and they didn't have any strawberries. Well, they had strawberries, but they were all gone. And I got there really early. They haven't even been open an hour yet. And I just got home. Um, what did I get at the farmer's market today? I got a whole bunch of garlic scapes. Um, that I'm going to stir fry and eat. So, olive oil, um, soy sauce, maybe a little bit, or I don't do soy anymore, I have to do tamari. A soy sauce or soy sauce alternative of some sort. And sesame seeds. And uh, maybe some maple syrup or agave nectar, just a touch. You don't really need to do much to them. And Amelia and Josh gobbled them up. I got two things of broccoli that look like this. How it grows. And I got two. Two. I'll probably... I might just eat it raw or I might blanch it and then dunk it in cold water and kind of make a cold broccoli side dish that we just keep in the fridge and perpetually munch on, uh, which is blanched broccoli, really, really, really finely minced garlic, sesame oil, some soy sauce or tamari, and maybe some hot pepper flakes if I'm feeling it and just like massage it into the blanched broccoli and then keep it in the fridge to just chow down on or to have with lunch or dinner or whatever. And whoa, it broke. Okay. I got, I got some tomatoes because it's going to be salsa season soon. I got these two heirlooms. Because when tomatoes come into season, we essentially just make salsa every weekend and eat it really fast so and then I got these two so I will track down a red onion to roast with those and that will that will start the salsa process and then I got some green onions and I got Two bunches of curly kale that's probably just going to turn into kale chips, I'm not going to lie. And there were other vegetables there that I wanted, but I would be the only one to eat them. And I just didn't feel like dealing with it this week, like beets and zucchini or courgette, for those of you who don't call them zucchini. And then the aromatherapy lady cornered me, and I don't believe in aromatherapy, but I'm conflicted because I really like the smells of some of them. So I let her talk me into buying a hand soap for the bathroom. Which is... Castile soap, argan oil, pomerosa, sweet orange, lemon, and peppermint essential oils. It smelled good. That's pretty much the only thing I appreciate about aromatherapy. Because I'm a killjoy, you know this. But it also came with a refill. And it was $15. So. And the refill like, it's essentially, I got five, five of these for $15 because when you refill it, you only need a quarter of this. 
and some distilled water. So, so I spent like $30 for all of this, which is why I love the farmer's market, and you should too. Uh, I'm going to put this away, and I'm going to start making cookies for my friends, because we're going to their house to help them sit Shiva around 4.30 today. And yeah, that's what's going on on our Saturday morning right now. So, see you later. Hey, it is Monday. Monday what? June 18th. Um, the week of hell begins. So, <laughs> I have an exam on three chapters on Wednesday, the day after tomorrow, and then my final exam is a week from today. This might be a short vlog <laughs> this, uh, this week. Uh, anyway, uh, the weather is beautiful. It's hot, but it's beautiful. And I don't have that much progress to speak of on Candleman, but I finally got some work done on the sock. Still not showing true to color. That's really irritating. I decided that I just couldn't bear to do a heel flap. I just wasn't feeling it, so I'm doing a, just a regular basic short row heel. Um, And working down the foot now so that that's all that's going on there uh, when my final is over because I'm not gonna let myself do it before when my final is over I will sit down and I will go through my fiber stash and get some ideas of what I might want to uh, prioritize during Tour de Fleece and then I will go through my whips and try to figure out how I'm going to approach Arbitrary August. Um, and I'm thinking I might also go through my pattern stash, um, both to kind of show you what I have. It's not very big. Um, and also just kind of reassess how I feel about everything in my stash. Do I still love all of it? If not, maybe I should pass it along. We'll see, but that's, that's not happening this week. Not, not happening. I am going to take my very last online quiz for this class. I'm going to keep an eye on my cat to make sure he doesn't break things. Um, I'm going to have some lunch. I will allow myself one floss tube video, and then a studying I will go. So I will check in with you a little later. Maybe I'll show you the garden. Strawberries are ripening rapidly. So see you later. Hi. I haven't vlogged for most of the week, and so I thought I would uh, sit down on this Friday morning before since I've been uploading on Fridays lately and show you some stuff. My final exam for chemistry is on Monday. I'm not panicking because I'm not that worried. That's not to say I'm not going to study a lot this weekend, but I'm not worried. I'm pretty confident. Famous last words? Maybe. I have some things to show you and some things to talk about. Um, first thing, I have an FFO. I took the uh, Little House Needleworks uh, Bless Our Home uh, thing that I stitched to the framers and I got it back today. I'm so pleased. I really hope my in-laws like it. 
very, very happy. Very, very happy. Uh, and it's spaced nicely so the glass isn't right up against the fabric. And yeah, it's a very cloudy, it's gonna rain today here, which kind of is crappy for the lighting in general, but it really cuts down on the glare. Yeah, so. That, I think I'll give this to them in person. That's what I'm thinking. Um, I hear little feet. I thought I heard little feet. Anyway, so there's that. Um, I have been just every few minutes that I, you know, every time I have a few minutes, I've been sitting down uh, primarily in the evenings to work on Candleman. I still don't have a page finish. I'm not sure if I'm going to get a page finish. It's really going to depend on how things go. But here's, here's the progress. The, um, like down in here is where it slows me down. Like over here, I mean, it doesn't take long to stitch those, but confetti is just, slows you down, but it's so worth it. Oh my goodness. So yeah, happy about that. It's looking, looking good, looking good. And I have been knitting. I still don't have a finished sock, but I am close. <laughs> I am close. Uh, so again, this is, uh, the pattern is Hermione's Everyday Sock. It is a free sock pattern you can find on Ravelry. And the yarn is Blue Moon Fiber Arts Socks That Rock Lightweight in the colorway Song Sung Blue. And last I checked, it is still available. So I'm guessing maybe it's not a limited edition. It was just... Uh, a coincidence that... I mean, it's obviously a Neil Diamond reference, but I, I, I think it's perhaps a coincidence that this showed up around the time he announced his retirement. I don't know. You'd have to ask the dyer. And I'm still really annoyed that it looks so washed out. It's a lot prettier in person. Um, that's kind of all I've been doing. I have been, where are you? There you are. I've been plugging along on this book, um, really enjoying it, extra, extra getting into it now. Uh, I hope to finish it by the end of the month. And I'm not sure, like I've talked about it before in a previous Floss Tube video and I'm not quite sure what else to add to it that wouldn't give away big bits of the story. Um, but if you like historical, light fantasy, um, I mean, it's Arthurian, so it's, it, it's, it's, it's Arthurian legend. There's talk of a dragon, but if you're generally not into, into fantasy or historical stuff, it's still, I don't think it's, it's going to rub you the wrong way. It's just a good story. Um, yeah. I've been making plans because Tour de Fleece is next month and I haven't spun in a really long time and I have a lot of fiber like I actually cancelled my Willy Wonka Fibers Fiber Club subscription because it was just I'm running I'm running out of room <laughs> too much fiber not enough yarn so my plan, because summer school, I still want to participate. So I have decided during Tour de Fleece, I am going to for sure sit down at the wheel for minimum 30 minutes a day. If I can get an hour, great. If not, 
30 minutes minimum every day during Tour de Fleece. And we'll see what I get accomplished. I'm going to start with this stuff that's actually been on the wheel for a while. Um, and I don't have the card that has all the information with it. That's irritating. I hope I have it somewhere. It's this wool. I think it's a superwash, but I'm not sure. It's got some merino in it. I wish I could tell you more. I wish I could tell you more about this. Um, so this is what is getting worked on first in Tour de Fleece. After that, I think I'm just gonna grab what strikes me, although I have, I have some ideas. So from Wooly Wonka Fibers, I think the one that I'm definitely gonna grab first is my absolute favorite from last year. It was inspired by a um, Heaven and Earth Designs pattern that Anne is working on called Which Way. Um, and actually, the temptation to actually buy that pattern and stitch it is strong, but I'm, um, I'm holding fast. Anyway, these are so my colors. It is, it is, it's, it's, it's not even funny. Um, so when I'm done with what's on the wheel now, I think I'm definitely grabbing this first because I love it. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to spin it. What is it? So it's called Which Way, and it is Superwash Targy. Uh, so I'm not sure how I'm going to spin it. Kind of want to make a... Kind of want to make a cowl. Kind of want to have something that I can wear... All the time, you know, I kind of want to have something that's not only for when it's cold outside and I'm about to go outside, you know. I want to be able to wear it indoors as well. So we'll see. I have some time to think about it. But this, so this is a front runner. Um, and honestly, I'm not, I'm not convinced that I'm going to have time to do more than uh, the knees during Tour de Fleece. But I'm gonna show you some other pretty things because why not? Last year, my dear friend, I, who I've known for many, many years, sent me for my birthday some noils because she loves me. I don't deserve it. And I've never spun with these before and I really, really want to. What's in it? So, this is alpaca wool, silk noil, and sparkle. And this is alpaca wool, silk noil, and sparkle. Uh, oh, so love those too. And some more Willy Wonka fiber. This one I really love and want to spin soon because Anne took my idea for color inspiration and ran with it. I suggested um, Dune something from Dune. And so this is Melange. Like you can see the spice and the blue that your eyes turn when you've been using the spice for a while. Oh, this is Shetland. I love Shetland so much. My friend Lisa in Northern Maryland who owns Feederbrook Farm, you can find her online. Most of her sheepies are Shetland and they are so sweet and I love them and I need to go down there and visit her and pet them because, side tangent, anyway, melange. 
And then uh, another Wooly Wonka Fibers braid, mostly because uh, this is the first one I got, so it's kind of the oldest Wooly Wonka Fiber braid in my stash. Uh, this is Cottage Garden, which is Polworth Mohair and Silk. Super, super pretty. I know quite a few folks who would love something made with these colors. Um, so that is as far as tr trimming down the fiber stash, uh, these are the front runners. Um, they're what I'm going to reach for first. Is that all I have to show you right now before I sign off? Um, so, ending on a serious note, because I've been doing that lately. Um, we're, the United States is, uh, is uh, we've, we've got some, uh, some human rights violations going on down on our southern border, as I think just about everyone in the world knows. And I am heartbroken by it, and I am furious about it, and I haven't been talking about it very much because I am really trying to compartmentalize it. Um, because apart from contact um, my representatives in government and protest and send money to organizations that are working to to help the, uh, the the families that are separated, there's nothing I can do, and none of that is very satisfying. Um, and I will be paralyzed and non-functional if I dwell on it too much, so I've been really compartmentalizing it, but I just want... Um, it's not okay what's going on. There's no excuse for it. Uh, and there are nationwide protests uh, that are happening on my birthday. So I will be spending my birthday in downtown Philadelphia in front of the ICE offices. Um, and uh, that's a good way to spend my birthday. And just as a little PSA, for folks who maybe need need it. A lot of folks have been comparing what's going on to the early, early stages of the Nazi party's final solution. And that's accurate. To the people who have been saying publicly, well, I don't think it's very fair to Holocaust survivors for us to be comparing what's happening at the border to what the Nazis did. Shut up. You obviously are not related to or know any survivors. Stay in your lane. If you even talk to someone who lived through that and heard what they had to say, I think it, you will find that they feel it is a 100% accurate comparison to make. So, remember that. Uh, yeah, got heavy there, but I don't care because yeah, it's what's going on and it's what I care about and... end on a note that's not going to make everyone feel down. I don't know. There's a cardinal outside, but I can't turn the camera around without messing it up. Um, our male cardinal doesn't actually look like a cardinal right now. This is interesting because he went through a molt. So we've got this bright red body with this like very like bald black head with his bright red beak. And when I first saw him, I didn't, I was like, what bird is that? And I had to do some research. No, he went through a molt. He's still waiting for his crest to grow, to grow back. And he looks very pathetic and I feel kind of sad for him. Um, 
Yeah. So that's cute. And yeah, so hopefully after final on Monday, I can relax and then I can do things like watch my birthday month movies. Maybe hike. <laughs> Go for some bike rides. We'll see. Stay tuned. T tune in next week uh, for uh, birthday month vlogs that are not, uh, you know, dampened down by a giant black cloud of chemistry. Uh, with that, have a good week. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, and I'll catch you around the internet. Peace.